Welcome to the video training for CNC programming. My name is Mike Matera. I'm with Tips for Manufacturing and I'll be walking you through these presentations. We're starting with the core concepts of codes and motion. So topics covered in this video. What is a word address? Basic motion codes. Motion code examples. So what is a word address? Well, machine codes use word addresses. G, M, T, F, and S are words used for CNC programming. G is a motion code. Machine motion can be linear, circular, in rapid, or in feed. M is a miscellaneous code. Miscellaneous codes are used for general switches. So spindle start, spindle stop, coolant on, coolant off. Those are the kind of things that you need to switch, change the condition of. T is the word that's used for tools. F is used for feed rates. S is used for spindle speeds. Now these can vary from machine to machine, but I think you'll find most of these words are pretty common. So the common G codes for machine motion are G00 or G0, which is a linear rapid move. G01 or G1, which is a feed linear move. G02 or G2 is circular clockwise. G03 or G3 is circular counterclockwise. So starting with the G0, this is a rapid linear motion command. This is the general format. You're going to have the G code, the G0. And notice that that is a G0, not a G0. It is not the letter O. It's the number 0. The G0 is followed by the X position, the Y position, and the Z position. Now all of those positions may not be needed. In this case, we're looking at a blue dashed line that's showing the rapid motion of the tool. And that is a three-axis move, moving the tool to some starting point. So this will rapid to the XYZ position specified. This position could be in absolute coordinates. This position could be in incremental coordinates. G01, or G1, is a feed linear motion command. So G1 with the X position, the Y position, and the Z position. And this requires a feed rate value because there is a feed move. So this will feed to the XYZ position specified. This requires a feed rate on the current line or a previous line. This position could be in absolute coordinates. This position could be in incremental coordinates. G02 or G2 is an arc circular motion command clockwise. So you have the G2, you have the X and Y position, an I and a J value, and a feed rate. So this will feed clockwise in an arc to the XY position specified. This requires a feed rate on the current line or a previous line. It uses an I value and a J value to specify the arc center point. This end position could be in absolute coordinates or this end position could be in incremental coordinates. G03 or G3 is the arc circular motion command counterclockwise. So we have the G3, the X and the Y position, the I and the J value, and a feed rate. This will feed counterclockwise in an arc to the XY position specified. It requires a feed rate on the current line or a previous line. 
and it uses the I value and the J value to specify the arc center point. This end position could be an absolute coordinates. This end position could be an incremental coordinates. So with the G02 or the G03, we have the I and the J value. The I and the J value specifies the arc center point. I is the X position of the center. J is the Y position of the center. This value is incremental on Fanuc, Fidal, and Haas controls. It's specified from the start position to the center point. There is an alternate arc format, a G2 or G3, with the XY position, and this uses an R value for a radius. The R specifies the arc radius size. An R plus value means that the arc that it's going to generate will be less than 180 degrees. If the R value is negative, it means the arc will be greater than 180 degrees. So here's a linear positioning example. G0, linear rapid. G1, linear feed. And this is the XY0 starting point. So we're going to rapid position to the start point. We'll say G0, X minus 0.5, Y minus 0.75. With X and Y zero at the lower left corner of the part, this provides clearance from the part edge. So always make your starting point somewhere off the edge of the part. You have to accommodate for the radius of the tool plus whatever stock may be on the blank. Rapid positioning to the clearance height. We'll say G zero, Z point one. So this move rapids to the Z clearance height 100 thousandths above the top of the part. Normally the top of the part would be zero, so we'll be 100 thousandths positive above the top of the part. Now we could have put this move on with the previous move and moved X, Y, and Z all at the same time, but I recommend that you avoid three axis rapid moves for positioning. This can help eliminate crashes from uh, maybe rapiding into a clamp that might be sticking up. It's always better to move X and Y to position and then Z down to your clearance height. Next we want to feed to the part depth. So we'll say G1, which is a linear feed move. We're going to go to a Z of minus 0.5 and a feed rate of 10 inches per minute. So this moves at 10 inches per minute to the depth of minus a half inch our cutting depth for the part. Feed to the first point. G1, X0, Y0. This feeds to the corner of the part at 10 inches per minute unless another feed rate is specified. The feed rate is a modal condition. It stays active until it's changed. So if we want everything to be at 10 inches per minute from here on, we won't have to specify the feed rate again. But if we need to speed up or slow down the feed rate, we can change it on any individual line. Then that will be the current feed rate for the rest of the program. So this point is X and Y zero. That's the point we're feeding to, the corner of the block. Feed to the next point, G1, X.5. Y 1.75. This feeds to the next cut point right here. At X 0.5, Y 1.75. Feed to the next point. G1, X 1.75. This feeds X to the next cut point, but Y stays at the current position. So we're going to this corner which is X 1.75, Y 1.75. So since we're not moving the Y axis, we don't need to address it in this line. 
we only have to talk to the axis that's moving. Feed to the next cut point. G1, Y, 2.5. This feeds in Y to the next cut point, but X stays at the current position. So we're going to this corner, which is at an X of 1.75, but the Y position we're going to is at Y, 2.5. So this is what we have to this point. Let's continue to the next point. We're going to do a G1, moving X to 2.569, and a Y position of 3.074, which is this corner here. So there's our X position. There's our Y position. Next, we're moving G1 to an X of 3.569 this corner here. So here's our X position and the Y position stays the same. Next we're moving G1 to an X of 4.5 and a Y of 1 to this corner here at an X of 4.5 and a Y of 1. Next we're moving to Y0 which is this bottom edge of the part and that stays at the X position of 4.5. Next we're moving to an X position that is minus 0.5. So we're actually going to move out here somewhere. For this last cut I actually want to move past XY0. I want to move past the edge of the part to get the tool off of the workpiece. Then we'll move G0, which is a rapid move, moving up in Z to a clearance height of 0.1. So that's the core concepts of linear motion.